Hi guys, Shane here with you from Guitar at Work, and this is one of my favorites, uh, Give a Little Bit by Super Tramp. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy this. There's a few parts to it, so we'll split them up um, for sure. And now A7, looking at an A7 chord, you're looking at Give a Little Bit the Strum. You've got that sheet in front of you, Give a Little Bit Strum is a handwritten sheet, and it'll detail exactly the ups and downs we need. A7, I think we all know that guy, and I'm going to go up, down. You'll see a picture of it, then you see a UD, so up, down. Now there's a down bracketed there, that just means it's a bit quieter. Don't worry about that kind of detail just yet. Treat it like a downstroke for now until you really get intimate with the song. So A7 does this, up, down, down. Now the D chord, you see a D shape on your page there. You're going to run to D and I begin with an up. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Now it says to repeat, so repeat that line. Here it is in slow motion here, A7, up, down, down, D, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. I've kind of tried to space those up downs uh, on your sheet in a way that you'll know where the pauses are. Here's that first line again, A7 to D. Up, down, down, D, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, A7, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Great, now the second line, G. G is going to head to A7. So I begin the G on an upstroke. You'll see the chord shape, and then you see your direction there, up, down. It's going to go up, down, down. Now here's an A7. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. I'm going to repeat that line. G, up, down, down, A7. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, here's that second line again. Three, four, G, up, down, a7, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Repeat, G, up, down, down, A7, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Good, now the third line, third line is G going back to D. Same strumming thing, I think you might notice there's a pattern going on there. Last line here, G, third line, is up, down, down, D. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, G. And now we're gonna repeat the whole thing from the top. Um, now you may notice, your right hand is really just doing this, okay? I'm going to choke these strings to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down. It never stops. Just that, okay? Just that. So there's a couple of ways to look at this. You can look at the, all the ups and downs on your sheet. That will definitely get you there. Um, and some, sometimes that's just the best way to go uh, until your body realizes, hey, just a second. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Now I'm just going to leave at the right times here. I'm going to cut this guy on autopilot. Um, three, four. Down, down, up, 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 down. Now the tricky part is, and it's tricky to count myself in there, you may have noticed, because it begins on one of the ups. So here's that pattern again, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. It begins, the first strum, the actual strum on the A7th, in this case, it will be on the upstroke. So let me start that again. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Here it is. Up, down, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Second line, G. Up, down, down, A7, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, G. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Third line, G. Up, down, D. Up, down, down, up, down, down. The first line, up, down. Repeats. G to A7. Up, down, down, up, down, down. Repeat that line. Up, down, down, A7. Down, up, down. Last line, G to D. Up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Right, so to reiterate, you can go with the downs and ups that you see on your sheet. I recommend that for a little while. Then try to notice it's just this pattern. Down. But what may throw a wrench into things is that the first attack, the first time you actually strum a chord, is on the up. So down, down, up. That guy right there is where you begin things. Um, that can be hard to wrap your head around. So just stick with the ups and downs on the sheet if you feel more comfortable with that. That's your verse part. Uh, that's your first sheet that I've given you. And now the second sheet, uh, give a little bit part two, is when it heads to the B minor chord. And I'm sorry about B minor. A lot of people struggle with uh, bar chords. It's a necessary evil for sure. Get in there and just nail that chord. You may have to just throw a movie on and just practice getting there. And when you do get them, you might sound a little bit dead here and there. Hey, that's all normal stuff, just mechanics, right? 
Um, so the second part does this. G, up, down, down, B minor. Up, down, down, up, down. Same right hand pattern. There we go. And now it's heading to an E sus4. E sus4, I'm gonna to go to a regular E shape here for a sec. Plain old E chord, and I'll put my pinky right there. Second fret of the G string. Second fret of the G string. He turns out to be on the same string as your first finger. Same thing, so, but let's leave our first finger there. He's not bugging anybody, and we're gonna need him in a second anyway. So if I go from the B minor, the preceding chord, I'll get the strumming pattern going. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and that. Now, I'm going to drop my ring finger and pinky. I'm going to take the other two off. Ring finger and pinky just drag down two frets, and I'll add the middle finger. That's how you get to E sus4. Let me do that again. Here's B minor. I'll take off my first and second fingers, drag these two guys to the second fret, and I need my middle finger there to complete an E sus4. And on E sus4, we get uh, down, down, up, down, down, up, and then you're just taking your pinky off and you're going to an E, regular E here. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Here's the first two lines. The first two lines of uh, give a little bit part two, okay? So it's going G to B minor right here. Up, down, down, B minor, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. E sus4, drag and drop here. E sus down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. There we go. There's a G coming. Down, down, up, down. There we go. Um, now, the last two lines of that page give a little bit part two. Uh, there's a crazy chord here, D add 2, 4, slash A, as you're seeing on your sheet. Um, it is a truly a chord, but I think you're going to find just knowing it is this shape is a little bit easier here. There's a picture of them there for you. Watch out for the Roman numeral beside the chord diagram. That's telling you that the, uh, the first fret in the diagram is the third fret on the guitar. Roman numeral 3 there. So my first finger is on the third fret of the B string. My middle finger is on the E fourth fret of the D string. And that's a good shape to know for sure. And our strum is this, down, down, up, down, just that for now. Now I'm going to drag my middle finger down two frets and then assemble here an A7 chord. Like that, actually, before we get really heavy on the strumming pattern for this section, let me just outline those chords. Here again, D add 2-4, uh, this guy here, let's call it shape 1 here, shape 1. There we go, and I'm going to drag that middle finger down, doink, to the second fret, and I'll assemble an A7 from there. Go. And now the last line, it goes back to D add 2 4. This guy here, shape one. There you go. And now the last chord is really like an, an A7 up here on the fifth fret. Same shape as an A7 here on the fifth fret. There we go. Like that. Notice the Roman numeral five there. Watch out for him. So that section, I'll take him again really slowly. Last two lines of part two here. Uh, down. And now A7, two. That first shape again, and now A7 shape on the fifth fret. Good. Now look at your strumming there, uh, and there's some accents to deal with too. Uh, here's that first shape again. D add two four. Down, down, up, down. A7. Down, 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 up, down, down. Now back to the first shape. Down, down. A7 on the fifth fret. Down, down. So I'm accenting the two downs on the A7s, accenting those pound, pound kind of thing. Let me do that in real time here. First shape. Bang. bang, bang, quiet, bang, 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 chick, chick, chick again, bound, bound, two, three, four, bound, there you go, bound, bound, two, three, four, and sometimes uh, to get those kind of accents, yeah, you do hit a little harder, but also de-accent, if that's the word, you're uh, quieting up your, uh, your in between these drums, they're more percussive than anything, so again, uh, 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 there we go. And now we're heading back to give a little bit, right? That is the your, your verse section again. Uh, again. Two, three. Exactly the same as page one. So we'll, we'll stitch it all together. Uh, that was uh, the second part. Now, the, there's a saxophone solo. During, uh, during which uh, you don't hear a whole lot of guitar going on there, but if you are playing it all the way through, you'd want these chords. A separate sheet there for you, a sax solo chords, and we're starting with an F sharp minor. That's your bar chord here on the second fret, that guy. And let's just keep our, our pattern going that we've been using for this song. I'll do this. F sharp minor, one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Now B minor, and a one, and a two, and a three, and 
F sharp minor, back to that guy. One and two and three. Here's your B minor right here. One and two and three. F sharp minor is coming again. One and a two and a three and a four. Here's your G and a second line of that page. Two and a three. And now it's going to go C, G. C, G. Good. And you're going to find on the second line of that uh, sax solo page, uh, there's a little bracketed area that we're in at the end of that second line. A7, right here, and this guy here. Here's our idea again, just starting from a different place, that uh, wacky idea we had a moment ago. A7, and then it's going to go up to D add 2 4. There we go, that guy there. And then it's going to go to the A7 shape on the fifth fret. And then an A7 shape on the seventh fret. Look at that. So pretty easy though. Let me do it again. A7. Here's the only uh, different shape, really, is your fourth fret there and your third fret there. That's your D add 2-4, we're calling it. And then your fifth fret A7 kind of a shape there, and seventh fret A7 shape. There we go. Now, if I put that in context here, three, four, uh, two, three. up it goes. Up it goes. And back to A7, repeat it all. One more. And that is still our pattern that we've been using throughout. That is still the pattern, but I'm really trying to quieten down the in-betweeny strokes, the percussive strokes, and really accent the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Call that a drama strum where you're you know, really raking it through there. Yeah. Um, that's your sax solo. Now it's going to go back to give a little bit verse, right? It goes directly to the D. It skips the A7. Effectively, all this stuff is A7. They're just waiting and building up tension on A7 to get you back to do -do 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 the give a little bit in that verse section. So do another verse. Round and round it goes. That would be page one. And um, the outro, uh, the really cool part here that everybody seems to love, there's a, a separate sheet, give a little bit outro, and we've got some neat chords to look at here. Here's a D. Let's sketch those first, D. And now I'm going to drag that up before we get to the strumming. D. I'm going to drag that up to the seventh fret, to your first fingers on the seventh fret. There you go. It should sound like that. Now that, it's written as a G. That truly is a G. I know it's a D shape, but when we drag it up there, it becomes a G in, in uh, standard pitch or concert pitch. There's your D to G. And now this little A you're seeing here, um, that guy right there, it feels like the top part of an F chord. Notice I'm on the fifth fret, I'm barring the top two strings. Middle finger is going on the G string here, the sixth fret. Uh, the only thing we're missing if we were playing an F shape is that ring finger. It might just help you to remember that, so keep that in mind. And we have two X's in all of these chords, so we're using the D in the bass. That, this one glues it together. We've got D in the bass droning away the whole time. So there's that A chord. Good. I'm going to take that shape, go two frets lower, just drag it two frets, and that's another G. Different, different G than we saw up, uh, up top there in the seventh fret, but that's a G nonetheless. And we're going to a D. There we go. Now it's going to go to a little a miniature C here. I'm calling it C slash D. That guy right there. And then finally back to this G on the third fret that you already know, and then to a D. Good. That's, that is all on paper there for you. I know it's whipping by quickly, so use your pause button and rewind button, whatever you need to do. Let me run those chords again for you here slowly. Here's D. And we're going to go up to a G in the seventh fret, just dragging that D shape. And here's a little A shape here, fifth fret, and drag that same shape down to the third fret. And we're heading to a D, as you well know. And here's a C, miniature C, C slash D it's called. There you go. And here's a little G and back to D. Good. Now when we get to the strumming on that, I've written it out for you, um, and I'm, I've written it out minus the percussive stuff. The percussive stuff, the in-betweenies, uh, are what tend to confuse a lot of us on that. It did me as well. So how about, I'm just, just the accents, just for now. Here's a D chord. I'm going to give it one strum. I'm going to drag up to the G on the 7th fret, which is, again, just dragging that D shape up, and I'm going to go down, up, down. I'm going to go to the little A shape here on the 5th fret and go down, up, down. Down to the G chord, I'm going to play an upstroke. And then to D, down, down. Uh, good, I'll, I'll review that here and I'll do it in real time. Here's D, G, A, up, G, D. 
try it without talking here one time. Now C slash G gets down, up, down. And the last line, here's G down, up, and to a D down, down. Okay, so uh, that's it without percussive strokes. Here's the whole thing through without percussive strokes, just the accents that we spoke of. Okay, here's a D. Here's your up to your G. Here's your little A. And then up stroke on the G. D, D. C, little c, down, up, down, now G, down, up, D, down, down, there you go. Be a good idea to get that down, get that down and we'll add the percussive strokes. Now here's the cool thing, I'm going to keep an eye on my computer because I just had a little bit of a failure there. Um, I'm going to go D, sorry, I'm just going to do this, down, up, down, up, down, keep that motor running. Now watch what I'll do here, three, four, down, down, up, down. coming. Two, three, four. Good. So we've practiced those chords with the accent markers you're seeing there, meaning downs, downs, and ups. But then we just have to fill in the blanks with, with a quieter percussion just so we don't drown things out. Um, so I'm going to do that again really slowly. Here comes D. And again, I'm just doing that. This guy never wavers. One, two, three. Here's a D. Down, quiet, G. A, down, up, down, up, down, down, two, three, C, and down. G to D. Yeah, one more time. Here it comes slowly. Three and a four and a down. Down, up, down. And down, up, down, up, down, down. Here's your C, little C. Down, up, down. G to D. Right, so it's this guy I say never wavers. What's happening there is he's always going down, up, down, up, down, up. He may not hit the guitar every single time, but you want to keep that motion going. And what we have on our outro sheet there is just where you would accent da da da, da da da, da da da, like that. And then I'll just add the percussion da, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba ba ba, chicka chicka chicka, just like that the whole time through. Uh, tricky, I know, always been one of my favorite songs, and I know that's a tricky little, tricky little intro or outro, I should say, in this case. But you are going to find a lot of songs use those little shapes, just for interest, and uh, so keep at it. If there's any hesitation in your left hand, getting to those chords, you're going to find your right hand will just not cooperate. So wait till you're absolutely fluid with those left, uh, left hand chords, and then you can start adding this guy, and he, sh he should cooperate. So thanks a lot for tuning in. That was Give a Little Bit by Supertramp. We'll see you very soon for another song. Cheers.